Hello and welcome back to yet another episode of uh, War of the Chosen, Long War of the Chosen to be precise. My name is Saiken, this is the legendary Iron Man run of better one of uh, this mod. And today we're talking about Maws, how they undermine your organization and how to get rid of them. We do have a security breach mission, which is a very, very seldom occurrence. So here's the deal, whenever you do have... Uh, resistance operatives uh, that operate your bases, there is a certain percentage that in reality it is a faceless one. Uh, the fa that has a couple of uh, consequences. The faceless one, or Advent in this case, is constantly planning to undermine your operations, so faceless one will not um, do productive work. Uh, nor will it help in any shape or form, although you cannot find out what it is. Moreover, a faceless one uh, sends over information, and when it has sent over enough information, um, there will either be an invasion, so a troop movement of Advent, or a crackdown, or whatever Advent else can do. So there are a couple of retaliation um, missions that they can do here in Long War. Now, the only way to get rid of a mole is to search for intel, but they are incredibly hard to find out, so it is very seldom that you are actually finding them out. However, if you have a Haven Advisor, just like I had, um, and if that Haven Advisor is of high rank, just like the one that we had, there's a good chance that you can uh, figure out who the mole is. In this case, uh, we will simply fly there. And essentially, if I'm not completely mistaken, we cannot deploy an entire team there. But instead, it's only uh, the Haven Advisor plus uh, a couple of Haven Operatives. So let's see how this is going to play out. And there we go. The spy has been tracked to its meeting site with the enemy forces. With only a short window, we now need to interrupt it. Well. That's the good news. The bad news is uh, we forgot to equip Mitch before uh, sending him in. Or they stripped his equipment. Whatever the case may be, he essentially has a normal weapon, just like everyone else. But we got a couple of grenades. And we at least got his officer uh, skills. So... Nothing is going to happen until we're triggering the enemy. Got a shotgun. We might want to use uh, this guy here at the front line. Got a couple of normal assault rifles. The last time we had such a mission, we only fought against normal troopers, and I hope that that'll be the case again. We got a smoke grenade over here, so that should keep us safe. And we can move Mitch so that he can take the high ground. Overwatch. 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 And Overwatch. I would like to take the high ground here. I bet they are somewhere around here. Good copy. Moving on target. So, moving up here. Moving. Taking the high ground. Oh, we got a laser stern gun. At least one laser weapon. And we got a lot of grenades. 
which we should liberally use. Heading there now. Moving into half cover. Moving out. All right, this is going to be our front line. Okay, and let's position ourselves behind the tree as well. I mean, it's not high ground, but we probably can't really choose where to fight. It's going to be at least one faceless one. And I'm hearing advents. They do have the advantage of a building. Which definitely means they have better cover. On the move. Moving out. Putting everyone in a line. I still hope that they are going to run into us and that we'll get the over, uh, overwatch. Oh, and we're concealed, never mind. So probably shouldn't be that worried about it. Oh, nothing so far. Let's surely advance. Uh, let's slowly advance. Affirmative, moving out. Closing on target position now. Got it covered. I'm on it. Moving to Overwatch. Okay. If we could take the house, and it's over uh, and it's high ground. And use it for our advantage, that would be awesome. Moving. All right, moving into cover. Heading to that location. Position confirmed. Ten four. Okay, everyone's all watching again. Or three out of five at least. The enemy must be near. Orders confirmed. Moving out. Understood. Moving out. Yeah. Hmm. Strange. To be honest, I was expecting that we would have enemy contact by now. On my way. Understood. Moving out. Affirmative. Covering now. Watcher. I've got my eyes on it. I've got my eyes on it. Good. Everyone's still on Overwatch. There is nothing wrong with an Overwatch crawl if you are not on a timer. Alright. Mitch moves up. On the move. Enemy patrol on the move. Look at that. We finally spotted out where the enemy is. Good, we're Let's do this. sticking with half cover for now. Got it. I'm all over it. 
And let's pull everyone onto high uh, onto the high ground here. And hope that they are not moving too far. Okay, that, that's three targets, three targets, okay, cool. Definitely would hit all three with a grenade. So that's one overwatch. It's the second overwatch. Can we use a grenade with him? Yeah, we can, but it would not hit all three of them. So might as well use her. And start the encounter. Fortunately, no kills. Luckily, though, uh, the actual engage uh, engagement afterwards killed all of them. By the way, we see another pack over here, so we're not going to go in. No, we are most certainly not just going to go in. Instead, let's move over here. That's not going to trigger anything. Like I said, liberal use of explosives. I really don't care whether or not the loot is destroyed. We're taking this high ground here next turn. But for now... Since I am sure they are going to move into our direction, we're going to Overwatch. Mitch has the best chance to actually hit an overwatch. You know, we could go up here, but I'm pretty sure that that would trigger them already. This here is full cover, and it will leave Mitch with the option to go up on top of the roof next turn. Muhammad just takes a secured position there. And we're having one Overwatch from up here. I don't care too much about the loot. But if we can get it, it would be great. This here is probably going to trigger.
Not a surprise. Oh, what? We do have two malls. Ooh, okay. Oh my gosh, we do have three? Shit, half of the base was uh, undermined and we never knew about it. Well, guess what? We gotta deal with them now. Get ready for a surprise. Okay. First things first, Advan needs to die. Kalt here moves into half cover. Can he throw the grenade far enough? Probably not. Hmm. We only got a smoke grenade with her. Sure thing. Mumat takes half cover. And would hit at least both of uh, the Advents if we don't kill them. Fifty-fifty to kill the the engineer. Solid kill. We're moving up here. Oh no, I didn't want to. I wanted to shoot the Advent, my bad. That was way too fast. Yeah, we don't want to stand in the open. So that's going to be an overwatch. Mohamed can still throw a grenade and we're just going to flash bang. Yep. Now let's see what they are doing. Yeah, that's uh, probably the biggest concern that I had, just being overrun by too many hit points. We can hit all three of them with a flashbang, so that's probably the good news here. The not so good news is, I'm not sure if that's going to be enough. So we're moving away. Gonna hit all three of them with a flashbang. Which is going to reduce their movement speed dra dramatically. Moving to position. 
And now we're going to kite them. But we need focus fire in order to make it count. Alright, more mud here is probably in the most difficult position of all of us. Going to move him to here. Nice little critical. Good job, Mohamed. Although you might die. We've done a valiant service. We cannot cluster up either. move to here. Which uses his last grenade. That'll kill one of them. And it exposes the other one. Going for full cover here. Yeah, there's a... No, there is no chance that we would kill it. There is a chance that we severely injure it. Okay. They are going to re regain hit points. That might be a double movement when they're disoriented. Disorientation really slows down your movement. I'm not sure about this here, however. No, wasn't far enough, but still. All right, got an area suppression, which we need to take care of. Good. First things first. Moving in. And this will take care of the area suppression. Using an aggressive grenade. Nice. Worked out. That will take care of parts of the problem. Now, reload here. Hmm. The absolute wrong time to have a grazing shot. Mohamed moves to here. Takes down this guy. Good fucking job, Mohammed. Good job. Reload. It's down to five, which means Mohammed needs to take another shotgun shot which is the highest weapon damage which uh, that we have 
And he's he is the VIP or the MVP of this mission. Oh yeah, feels good, baby. Feels good. We killed three malls. Which, um, on the other hand, means we had been deeply, deeply undermined, and it's good to get rid of them. And we are landing, unfortunately, we're not getting any new recruits. Well, no one got a promotion. Too bad. We got a couple of faceless corpses, which is good for Mimic Beacons. And I fear that we probably are down to four resistance operators, because we had seven beforehand. Look at that, yeah. Shit. We're down to four. But like I said, half of our crew um, had been faceless ones. And thanks. To Mitch, we at least uh, could kill them. Yeah, now we're back to recruiting, which is okay. I mean, I guess it's it's better than uh, having the malls uh, there. But we're a long way from essentially. Uh, regaining full strength in North Africa, which is sad. Avenger plotting new course. Good, time to get some more rookies. And we get new missions. Uh, that's two days, 22 hours. To counter a hidden event. Hmm. Hmm. Let's see if I can get a team together. Three days is awkwardly short. Setting course for West Africa. And after we have fe uh, fielded that mission, or at least tried to field it, I also want to do some base management. So let me work on this one here real quick. Yeah, I just realized it's not going to work out. Even if we were to just field a very small team, I mean, including a, a boosting it and spending 30 intel on it, it's probably not going to work out. There's another mission, this time for nine days. And that's the smash and grab. We're going to do that in a second. Before we do the, uh, before we do so, however, let's assess where we are from a base building perspective. We haven't had that in a while. So soon the month uh, number four will end. So supply drop is going to come in relatively soon. We are creating advent um, robotics, which means we can uh, soon produce sparks. Uh, that'll be great. Um, we could get some more rookies in. Oh, that's good as well. We are training uh, some of our uh, staff to become uh, officers, which is which I can always approve. And currently we're uh, researching Hunter's X uh, here. Or not researching, building Hunter's X, which is good as well for the Shinobis and other melee characters. Um, on top of which, I think we might want to remove negative traits here. Yes. And we're almost done with the shielded power coil, which is once that's done, we're building um, essentially an, uh, a reactor here, which will free up uh, those guys. And we're, expose um, we're um, trying to get the other exposed shield uh, core. So, that we do have enough energy to power everything. So 
that works quite well. We got decent amount of intel. We got okay supply. So that I, I'm not um, I'm not concerned about that at all. In terms of soldiers, we can see that our A team after this horrible mission is really wounded. So we got everything from more severely wounded to lightly uh, lightly wounded. Um, most of the prime team is simply out of action at the moment uh, and once they're done wound, uh, being wounded we might as well consider um, giving them uh, giving them a mental treatment because the only one so far yeah pretty much the only ones so far who are almost through uh, through the uh, throughout the entire squad uh, completely um, shaken is the prime team okay so in terms of uh, soldiers that we do have available, we're doing a lot of uh, a lot of uh, stuff with the higher level characters, which makes sense. You got to rest from time to time, so now is a good time to uh, to really attend to all of the newbies here. And look at that, we got like what, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 16 or 17 uh, soldiers that are ready and a few who are coming up, which means we're looking at what, realistically three, uh, three squads uh, that we can deploy in order to, to make a bit progress. Plus, we will get some more rookies, which is great. And hopefully some sparks, which is great as well. All right. Uh, although we haven't done anything in base building, it's sometimes helpful to, to double check where we are. Our overall plan at the moment, if you wonder, is we still want to uh, further get to Brazil and essentially by the way should be recruiting here for people uh, maybe not maybe we should go for into now let's start with recruit we're getting enough missions as is from the other areas. So, and in their recruiting efforts, hmm, are we putting Renvin there? Probably not. I would want to give them someone though. So which class is most available? Probably we, we need to uh, look at it from this perspective. So two assault, three assaults. Yeah, we're going to put an assault in there. So if it's not uh, Renvin, it's Sean Shanigan's, uh, Shanigan. Um, that'll greatly boost the recruit uh, recruitment, which I think is necessary, so uh, that we uh, we can essentially start over there as well. Okay. Other than that, uh, let's field the smash and grab mission. Smash and grab is a perfect mission for uh, beginners. So let me uh, fill the team, and I'll be back in a second. All right, got myself a team of six in this case. I don't want to like overdo it. We could stuff in a seventh uh, soldier, but I think we're fine. Pretty standard team. Uh, from uh, from the ranks, we've taken all the rookies, uh, so a lot of corporals here: corporal, 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 lance corporal, corporal, sergeant. Um, which means technically, Ghost is, be, uh, is going to be the one leading this group. Um, I was able to produce a couple of mind shields, which I am happy to test out. 
specifically the front line is going to get them and other than that it's really straightforward Simi similar equipment um, as uh, the last times and we're trying to grab four uh, crates it's gonna be a wilderness uh, run as well oh the second thing that I forgot we got a grappling suit so uh, that will make the movement for our sniper a bit easier anyways uh, that is the start let's get the rookies I'm totally excited to finally get a broader um, roster as you can see with all of the activities that need to be done uh, we need to deploy um, soldiers um, in uh, in each of our bases as well as recover from all of the actions it's really it's really a big problem resistance context plus one hmm. that is <sighs> neutralize a target well if we were to get him out we would get plus one resistance contacts hmm. and it's and it's uh, another mission on our way to liberating East Africa uh, Western Africa hmm. the problem that I'm seeing is we again end up with only two days so this will be a an extremely hard mission I I don't think that we can do it I'm going to ignore it the reward is fantastic but with vigilance 17 oh my gosh Advent is really aware that something is absolutely wrong in West Africa and despite our best efforts we can't really uh, we can't really do anything uh, uh, about it if we detect the mission so late avatar progress only plus one but we have like 10 missions completed it was a successful it was a crushing month so they are up for no good mainly lowering our income yep I think South Africa, uh, South America will not be uh, having any income. So aggression, some enemies gain the aggression ability granting them a bonus to critical chances. Uh -huh. Advent is better secured against our hacking attempts and there is a hidden event going. Okay. Fair enough, we got ourselves a second resistance order, so we either can get plus one resistance contact. Uh, resource rewards on all missions increased by 15% isn't bad either. That here is probably really good, but I'm going for the extra uh, rewards, because that could also include um, Intel as well as uh, alloys and alarium which we definitely need so i think overall that's going to be a bit better specifically with our strategy to to do mass uh, missions there's the supply drop and east africa has just recruited an additional soldier Which will mean uh, continue recruiting even more, please. I know our luck. Uh, luck. Uh, so now that we've cleared out three faceless ones, the next three guys that we're recruiting are all going to be faceless ones. Just so that Advent again has has their spies in East Africa. Perfect. Robotics is on its way.
With that, I think we can produce sparks now. All right, Gremlin Mark II, make breakdown. We got red screen rounds and mechanized warfare, which I think is the pre-product um, for mechs. Yes. All right, turrets would be good for defense matrix, which I don't mind. That's actually a pretty decent option as well. The other option is we're going for Alarium. I could essentially um, just sell a bunch of items and start this. That'll offer us um, plasma weapons and I think we got got to go down that route. We need armor and weapon upgrades. A fanatical, if not wholly obsessed being, the chosen warlock is without question the most. First things first. Let's double check for the costs of uh, sparks. Mechanized warfare. Prolonged exposure to exceedingly high amounts of psionic energy. That's not bad. Go warped this creature's mind. I like the red screen rounds, but I like blue, blue screen rounds better. I don't know. Um, I haven't read whether or not they have still nerfed them. I know that in normal long war. Uh, they had nerfed blue screen rounds quite considerably. So red screen rounds aren't bad if you want to go like uh, for a massive uh, hack of a sector pod. But now let's first get the supplies and once we do have them We can go on with uh, with the rookies. My problem is I've already sold quite a bit. I don't want to overdo it. I mean, we can get rid of the nanoscale vests, or at least most of them. We we really don't need them anymore. Trooper corpses. Um, yeah, I don't want to go lower than 10 cores because we need most of that, and I also want to keep the data pads. So that's enough for the research and the max. And building the mechs will be another uh, another topic. If you wonder why I haven't taken the supplies in South America, I've planned something different with them. We still need to upgrade some weapons and 150 uh, supplies is more than welcome. Good, Elarium. Thank you. 11 days. We're ready to go, Commander. If you need a skull jack, we can build one at any time. And here. I mean, there are so many good options. But I think we're going with mechanized warfare because I wanted to have more soldiers. So let's do that first 19 days. Although, I stand corrected. Let's get the X first. It's almost done. It's halfway through. Good. 
Back to the drawing board. Let's get the rookies. I would like to understand why the glo uh, globe is always lagging that much. I, it's so hard to understand everything else working well, but they somehow fucked up the globe. Anyways, okay, so we're getting the rookies. I decided we need probably more snipers. So three rookies exactly. What we needed. Time to get the supplies. And whilst we're flying over there. We got two new missions. But before we take them, let's Commander, we currently have no new supplies coming in. Start with our rookies. Means of replenishing our resources. First things first, who has the highest aim? I hope that some of the rookies at least are decent. Oh, 75. That's holy shit. That's the highest aim that you could have. So Shayna and Judith are going to be snipers and not any snipers. They're going to be like really, really good snipers. Good. Very good. Now, let's take a look. We just got two missions. Alright, we already know the smash... Oh no, that's a new one. Recover an item from Advent Train. Neutralize target. We already know that. Operation Keystone, we know that as well. Rescue a VIP. Interesting. Six days. That'll be like what? A Grenadier and an Intel package? And it's going to be a Sergeant, which is not bad. We're, we're in the need of Grenadiers for cover removal. So that here will be, with six days, a more difficult mission. So we better bring a good squad. Setting course for the Brazilian corridor. Let me build a team together. And we got ourselves a team together. So, Fury, Ranman, Roby, and Taxman. Together with a lower level um, specialist called Overdrive, we'll go into this mission. It's exactly 100%. Um, played out quite well. Overall, we're a bit short on cover removal, but since Roby here, uh, since Renman here can just run and gun, and since we do have another melee um, fighter plus a pretty good um, aim on Taxman. I think we should be fine. It's only 13 to 15 enemies. And yeah, I guess it's good. 18 plus, uh, ti uh, 18 plus rounds extraction time is good. We got two mind shields again for the frontline characters. So I think that is going to be a good mission. It's a difficult one, so we're well. Uh, we're well consulted uh, sending our uh, main team and the reward is sweet. A rather high level, um, a rather high level grenadier. Okay, so that was mission number one. We still got another one down here, smash and grab. Which is an easier mission. So. Let's see whom we can send over here. Setting course for 
I'll put a team together and run you through it. All right, and we're back. So it's still smash and grab for South Africa. I've organized the team in a way that it A, somewhat uh, uses the uh, mission time, but B, also, I essentially grab everyone in a way that uh, there is still that there are still exactly enough people left over for a proper six-man squad for a uh, squad for another mission. Uh, so this here is kind of uh, the the unwanted rest. We have two um, and all of them relatively low level. We do have uh, two shinobis, uh, two rangers. Um, a technician for cover removal and I decided to also take one uh, pretty well-rounded rookie on this mission so I don't really care which class he becomes we can use all of them sooner or later uh, so that's kind of uh, the F sw uh, squad so to speak uh, the ones uh, that are absolutely left over we still have one more decent squad for a difficult mission which I anticipate will pop up um, for me really a matter of uh, being cautious and being smart about uh, using our resources so we're going back to get our remaining supplies and we have now three well, I think even four infiltration going. We got an extraction, two smash and grabs. No, three infiltrations going, yeah. I decided to cut out uh, the way over, he uh, over here, but whilst I was flying, we're getting another request, which uh, this time is for an eight day mission, plus one. Uh, resistance contacts it's exactly what we would want plus it's uh, part of the liberation mission for South Africa great yes if I would have um, foreseen that we're going to find yet another mission it's crazy how they pop up all kind of at the same time so let me get the third uh, team going and here we go we fielded a pretty good team short of a uh, specialist unfortunately but um, I took three medkits with me which may compensate for it so our specialists somehow I have all been pretty badly injured and are not available um, we got Mitch Mitchell here who's leading it Coach Ice uh, is going to help him. I took Sean Shonigans out of his role as Haven Advisor and brought him with us. Puppy makes his return by uh, an excellent hitting, um, so excellent aim. Um, Gunner and Harbringer, our skirmisher. So that should be a pretty, pretty good team. And for resistance con permanent resistance context plus one and intel, I'm more than willing to uh, to take that bet. So this is hopefully going to work out because with resistance contacts, uh, with free resistance contacts that we're getting as mission rewards, we uh, don't need to build um, a resistance uh, building, resistance contact building. And that means we have more space for other stuff. I think we still need to build it though, but we can build it later as we're slowly but surely um, still getting resistance contacts. Okay, flying back to the uh, supplies over here. Unfortunately, the uh, globe is lagging so heavily. And hopefully we can finish the supply drops. Great, that was important as well. Got ourselves a bunch of uh, Alarium crystals there. So now how about we continue excavating over here and once we got uh, the supplies, we can start building uh, the power generator there.
Great, Edgar Allan Poe got a few new abilities. I want to make sure that our officer training uh, is happening as often as possible. So let's continue with Edgar here. As much as I like Trial by Fire, which is really a great ability, Hmm, you know, <sighs> probably I'll still go for Jammer because it is too good and it makes a lot of difference if you can use it. But Trial by Fire is great. And we're looking at another potential scientist here. Four days is probably too short. And we're, we are also almost out of our manpower. So got ourselves 130 supplies, which means we're flying back home. And we can finally start building the generator. We're going to shift one of our engineers over here because as soon as this here goes online, we can free up at least one, if not two, engineers. I wish I wouldn't have clicked away the last uh, message. That was a bit premature. And now I'm wondering what exactly happened. Did we get a dark event? No, we didn't. Oh, probably the officer training was done. No, it wasn't. Shit. Bonding? Yeah, I think our bond, uh, bond was uh, was done. Okay, whatever. Lesson learned, don't click escape if your globe is lagging like hell. Some enemy units gain the aggression ability. That is unfortunate. We're continuing to heal. I can't wait to hear what and that is our next mission, guys. It's time for an ambush. Uh, this here was the Avatar Reduction mission. We knew that an ambush is likely to happen, so might as well play it out, uh, which is great. Um, thank you so much for watching. I think everything's going really, really well. The last missions really gave us an enormous uh, momentum, specifically since we could upgrade most of our inventory. And I think we're uh, really like on par with the difficulty curve at the moment. Uh, now that we're researching Alarium with only 11 days, which is, again, incredibly fast, thanks to our laboratory and the, uh, and the three uh, scientists specifically dedicated to it. I am pretty sure that we're soon going to see weapon upgrades and if I can manage to somehow get enough resources to actually build weapons um, because uh, the plasma weapons are pretty pretty expensive um, we should be good to go for the end game. Thank you so much for watching, leave a comment down below and uh, see you in the next run. Bye bye!